little video about putting the um, trick stuff eccentrica uh, single speed bottom bracket in uh, i'm putting this into a uh, yeti arc i've put the left hand cup in um but the tool has got very very shallow um nipples and you pop that in there like so and a 32 mil spanner and do it up um but it is very shallow in there and it slipped so unfortunately straight from the word go it kind of the metal in here it this cup has got a much softer metal than this tool so consequently it popped when it popped out it took some of the metal off the two pins and left a um like a ridge that you could catch your nail on uh, sliding around and because the uh, the, the the outer bearing so this piece sits on top and then will rotate around it obviously needs to have a very smooth surface to go on to so those little pieces of metal that kind of got compressed up i just had to get a dremel on and just take the little pieces that were lifting up you could just catch your nail on them so i've just dremeled them off slightly so as you can see the holes in there are yeah you can see that one up the top there slightly got some compression marks there so this tool is could do with some deeper deeper pins or not rounded off or something or this made from a little bit harder material but um yeah so that one is now in it also says to do it up to 40 newton meters well i've got plenty of torque <sighs> torque drivers but this being a 32 mil and flat sided the only thing that you can put onto that, because you can't put a socket, is a 32mm spanner. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but how the hell do you do up a 32mm spanner to 40 Newton meters? Anyway, um, right, I'm going to go and fit the uh, other side of the cup now, so I'm just going to stop here. Okay, so right hand cup in. Um, no slippage this time. Um, I don't know if that's because it's got the backs exposed because the um, the spacer, the little spacer that you need on a 73 mil bottom bracket doesn't cover up those little holes in there. So they're kind of open to the elements a little bit. Um, I'll just pop a bit of grease in there. But, um, yeah, so that's on, uh, talked up to exactly German 40 Newton meters using my arm, my arm gauge. The other thing I've just noticed is that this bottom bracket, so sorry, I've got the grease, but I'm just popped a bit of grease in there just so the um, little holes are nicely sealed. Um, it doesn't have a, um, plastic, um, sleeve like a normal Shimano bottom bracket would have um, so that if any water or anything gets down the inside um, obviously with these it's protected to a degree with this it's not so yeah okay so this little thing you have to mount you have to take pop pop this on first then you have to pop this in through the back and then do the little allen key up afterwards. You can't pop that on first and then mount this because there's a little lip. So this on first, then pop that in, rotate it with your fingers until you can feel that the allen key it is biting and then that one kind of pulls down and secures the position that it's in. So I'm just going to, it says just do it up lightly, so literally finger tight, so on to the next one. So next little hiccup is, um, as you can see, this, if I'm going to fold this back here, you can see where the hole will move in relation to 
the center. So there, it's gonna be as close to the back wheel as possible. And here, it's gonna be putting more tension on the chain. So I've got to kind of keep my mouth. And so setting it up, I'm guessing you're gonna to have to put it, so let's rotate that way, there to be maximum slack and then take up the tension that way. However, to use the train stay on mine, if I want to move this to maximum slack, I'm not going to be able to because it's going to hit on the chain stay. Same the other way, if I bring it round, bring the egg round, I can bring it to about there. No, a bit more. I can bring it to about there. So, oh, actually, yeah, not far off. So, maybe just 10 degrees off. Off maximum slack but yeah oh well so yeah a spacer in there would have sorted it but this is 70 female width so there's no spaces on this side and there's one spacer on that side snag now um push the crank in and guess what oh now, unfortunately, it doesn't actually tell you on their website that that's going to be a problem. It only tells you when you get the instructions in Jabin. So luckily, I managed to download the English ones. And only in the English ones it say an eccentrica is a single speed or gear hub used only with crank sets 24 mil axle and without the mounting bosses for the small chain ring bugger so next bit um chain set's now off and so is the chain ring and i'm now just gonna have to get a vernier and work out how far I need to take off right that is 1.48 mil 1.5 mil so, on this puppy, I'm going to have to take off, make sure I've got 1.48 mil clearance between that part and anything else. So, let's have a look. So that should just clear, it should clear that part. So I'm gonna to have to take these off, flush with this bit. On the plus side, um, it will lose a bit of weight. <laughs> Perfectly good XT crank, and I'm about to grind those tabs off. Hey ho. Now, I could cut those off with an angle grinder but I think it's going to be neater if I just grind them off with the bench wheel. So. Gently, gently.
I'm going to go two-handed now, so I'm going to put this down. Right, that one is done, but that took 4 a while to grind that down, and it's quite hot. So I think by the time I've done the other three, I'm not going to be able to hold this because it was so hot, and I don't want to damage the aluminium through the heat. So, um, well, that's forged anyway, but um, I'm going to just um, grind the others off and finish them with the grinding wheel just to make them neat. Okay. This was meant to be simple. Stop bloody fiddling, shouldn't I? So now, all ground down, got a bit excited on that one, uh, and I'm hoping that they are about less than 1.5 mil off, so we're going to cool. check now. It worked. So, taking those off, it just clears on all of them so that worked I fucked an XT crank though but there you go <sighs> who wants a 2 by or a 3 by these days anyway um, I've just when I had the tensioner on I've just put my um, my what's it link connected them up wound the eccentric bottom bracket all the way to that position so this is as far back as possible um, I think I can just about take one link out if I put this together just with the link as it stands at the moment and then I wind it 180 degrees so it's as far that way as possible there's too much slack in the chain so I'm going to need to take a link out and I'm not going to be far off much adjustment in this, so we'll see how it goes. It's on. Um, there's actually not much play in there at all, but um, it is so. I've popped the link. Um, it is so tight at this point that um, I can't take the chain off here and sort of wind it round to put the chain using the cog to put the chain on, or at the back. So the only way I can actually get the chain on here at the moment is to pop the back wheel out, drop it down. Get the chain on, pop the back, put the wheel back in the frame, and then put this back in. So 
I have now got that max slack. And then I should do this live. Do, 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 do. Rotate that round. <gasps> and there we go. Now. <sighs> Ooh. Cool, that's close to that. Um, I'll have to put some protection on that. That's really close. Anyway. That. <gasps> Looks pretty good. So, I'm just going to do this all up now. Das Instructions in German. Sorry, in German, those ones, English ones. Um, it's talking about the pressure here is where to position the egg. I think the upside or the downside. Um, I've read this five or six times. I cannot understand it. It's not a great translation from German to English. It's Jerglish. Um, so I'm going to have to give them a ring and um, find out exactly what they mean by this because it makes no sense. Um, I could kind of understand where they're coming from as to where you need to position the egg, either top side or bottom side. However, because... My chain is so close to the chain stay, it will drop a bit once the bike's on the floor. Um, I can only have it on the, it was pointing back and I've rotated it that way. So the, as you can see it, oh no, I did it up a bit. Um, I brought the center point down and around this way to try and pull the chain away from the chain stay. If I move this that way, and move this up then it will hit that so I have no choice but to bring it down that way can't go that way so I'll speak to the Germans and see what they say about that as to where it is but that one's now done up and apparently you need to rotate this to make sure they're aligned nicely and the way to do it to make sure they're correctly aligned is to pull that out and if that pulls out easily then the position of this is aligned but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to align those up so that they are the same and i should be able to pull i'm going to pull with two hands anyway right i'm going to pull that up line that up tighten that up let's see how we go you do actually give you a couple of Stickers. So I'll be adding those probably to the um, tool chest somewhere. Anyway, we have a nice, clean single speed. So it's blowing like a hoodie outside at the moment, and I am not going to. I'm going to test it in the morning, but it's taken the um, tensioner off, which is fantastic. And the little eccentrica is in there, all nicely tightened up. A bit of a pain to get a, um, an Allen key on this one because it was so... Um, you can't really see it's there. It was... Um, was it that one? Yeah, it's that one. A bit difficult to get on there. Oh, sorry, not that one. That one. There you go. A bit difficult to get on there um, with an Allen key that wasn't a ball here to get it three newton meters of torque. But, um, yeah. We have a clean looking single speed. Which was the aim in the game. So, uh, nice. 30, 18, that's the gear that I've been working with for a little while around here. Gets you up the hills. Um, 
around here and uh, yeah so well chuffed with that well chuffed wasn't as clean and simple as I thought it would be to uninstall but um, yeah there you go so hopefully this um, this little video can um, help oh, I'm scratch me a little okay um, help to um, yeah show a nice clean single speed with no more rattly tensioner I'll see how the clearance is on that see if it does clang a bit but it feels tight enough to do that and clear it um, well, I suppose as the um, as the chain stretches a bit I'm then going to have to move the um, the chain set sort of down and round um, a bit further so it will come down this way so it might actually give me a little bit more clearance underneath but um, I've got a chain stay protector underneath there already anyway so that could work so I will try it in the morning.